this is Friday. About 10 o'clock in the morning. What is it? Two, three, four, five, six. May 6th. So yesterday I called the wrecker and the wrecker loaded this from the ground on my trailer. So I'm, I'm gonna use this short neck extension. And they, they charge a lot of money, right? So I know I'll be uh, I'll have an excavator at the shipper. That's what I'm picking up. So we're gonna I'm gonna use that machine to hook this up on the top and then flip it and then rehook. And also this morning I went to uh, Kel Tire over here down the road and asked him to set pressure because I checked the temperature in Omaha, Nebraska. It's gonna be uh, 30 Celsius like almost 90 F next week. And so the guy, I said, give me 110 on the truck, 120 on the trailer. He started checking, he says, your, your super singles are at 120. You wanna leave them like that? I said, no. Let's make them, uh, at least make them 115. And I said, make these 110. So that's what he did. And he had a trouble on that side. He had trouble taking out the valve cap on the inside tire, I had to use pliers. And then here, everything it should be 120. And now I spent half an hour doing some calisthenics with these uh, timbers, putting them on the tires, dropping suspension, and then hooking the chains. You know, because I, I don't have air lift, I have chain lift, right? So you need to drop the tires, drop the suspension, put them on something like a couple of boards, and then tighten those chains and uh, close that yellow handle so that allows air to go into the airbag so you see and then you reinflate and you see it's empty so i'm gonna be running like this this should give me probably like almost maybe half a mile a gallon extra uh, so only running on xl2 and xl4 so this morning i i went to starbucks before packing my car and I did my uh, empty ACE manifest right you have to do it online to let the customs know that you're coming so now all I gotta do is just print out that page and I can start trucking so this is Cambridge so it's two hours to Port Huron Michigan I'm gonna stop there in Marysville get some diesel fuel because over there I think it's like five bucks US a gallon whereas over here it three days ago it was 245 Canadian per liter which is totally nuts now it went down to I think 225 Canadian per liter all right I printed out ace manifest just one page nothing to it so let me check do I have my passport yes do I have proof of vaccination yes all right so now we're just gonna set up google maps and it's funny like i have the canadian one right but i got lazy because uh, you know moving them each time actually with this new setup it's not that difficult because the, you just take out this uh with this uh what is like a foam piece of foam uh, so it's pretty easy but the canadian one does not work in the states like you know i didn't activate uh roaming on that tablet but it's exactly the same tablet except it's from rogers in canada my provider my my cellular provider and so this is verizon but the the good thing about verizon is that it works in canada even though it uh can be quite slow because they only give you like five Head southwest they only give you 500 this route crosses a country border Verify COVID-19 restrictions. Yeah, they only allow you 500 megabytes, but I find that it works fine. And I'm trying healthier diet, have been eating too much ice cream and naan, it's just crazy. Yesterday I had a jug of ice cream and three pieces of naan and some wine so i think i did like 3000 calories probably yesterday so now we're trying to do some some podnorzny korm and i got this spray mix 
So the plan is I have to finish this in two hours before I reach the border. Otherwise, I'll have to declare vegetables. You have to declare vegetables and meat maybe once. Once in five years, I had somebody give me correct weight. So I hope it's lighter. And secondly, as soon as I enter Illinois, they allow up to 100,000 pounds on the back. So my factory rating is 20, 20, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23, 23 in pounds. So the steer axle is 20, and for some reason the pusher axle is 20, which makes no sense. By the way, boys and girls, when you spec a truck like this, make sure they give you the same rating on the lift axle uh, but because you know he should have given me when we were specking this like how can you give me uh, the last two axles are 23 per right so it's 46 thousand pound tandem hey Rob can I call you back I'm doing a video here are you you are you flying I'll be home. Okay, I'll call you in uh, shortly, okay? Okay, bye. Yeah, this is the broke I know from Alberta. He spent a week in uh, in the in captivity. He was captured by Mexican Mafia. I, I think actually it was uh, Mexican truckers. Uh, when, they, when they learned he was a freight broker, they they sent him to a special casino for freight brokers. <laughs> no, of, co of course I'm. Of course I'm joking, but he went with his uh, family, uh, really to Mexico. But it's a weird resort, where uh, you cannot f swim in the ocean. I said, why is that? And he says, uh, the undercurrents over there, undercurrents. He says, if you go any further than, than, you know, past your knee, it can suck you in. And, but they have a huge uh, swimming pool, you know, drinks are free, food is included. And, uh, and I said, what about your work? And he says, oh, I'll be working every day. I said, what do you mean working? Like, aren't you going on vacation? He says, yeah, but I have nobody to to leave my business to because he has so many loads. And because mostly I keep telling him he should start doing bigger loads with more money, but he's stuck in this routine where he got a couple of clients that showering him with loads, which are like, I don't know, a few hundred bucks. And they take a lot of paperwork because they're small. It's all, you know, LTL. And so because of this, he cannot even go on a vacation. Well, he can go on a vacation, but he cannot enjoy it. So I'm going to call him back shortly here. I just wanted to show you guys uh, the approach to the freeway. How do you get to the freeway with a quad axle trailer in Cambridge, Ontario? Easy. A walk in the park. As long as you do go wide, and you watch your rear. As one driver told me when I when I was learning to be a trucker, he says, the most important thing is you gotta know at all times what the rear of your, well, actually he put it like this, he says, you, you gotta know at all times what your ass is doing. <laughs> and by ass, he meant the, the rear of the trailer. Because otherwise, you know, you, you see new drivers, they start, you know, running over people's toes, you know, knocking down light posts. It's not good. And Kelta is over there. By the way, you're supposed to go in and then leave, but they always put ties in there and some junk. Oh, look at this, brand new granite. And they put some junk in there and I said, hey, when I have a quad trailer, I cannot go in there. I cannot leave through the yard. And like, how do you get out? That street, this uh, pine bush is uh, super busy. 
and so I try to back back but I cannot see anything because there's a building here I'm, I'm backing past the building and so finally I went back to the same guy who was checking my tires I said boss I'm sorry but I, I cannot get out without your help can you please watch this the two lanes closer to me because the, there's a building and then there's cars in there it's like totally blind you know I'm blind in there I can see the opposite side and on the other side of their driveway is the dealer I think it was a Nissan Nissan dealer okay here's a very dangerous spot I know these idiots they made it like this you see like here what they did like this a couple of times guys almost hit me over here when I was going this way a guy is coming so close because they didn't leave enough space between the lanes and what they're doing here is they demolished what did they, they demolish the bridge I think somewhere here mm. because at one one day I think it was a Sunday this this was closed all right so I'm gonna be driving super slow because of high prices on, on fuel The goal is to bring it down to about uh, 30 liters per 100 kilometers. Yeah, 91. That's my favorite speed when I'm empty. 91 clicks an hour. And that puts me at... Should be about 1320, I think. 13. The RPM. Just spent about half an hour trying to get to the toll side toll gates on the Canadian side because only one lane is open for trucks for regular trucks and there was one more lane for fast trucks so basically parts you know car parts but for us just one lane for regular guys and so there's a lineup I don't know five clicks three miles already and so I asked the lady I said why is only one lane open and she said oh the bridge is backed up <laughs> and I didn't see this like from that side it's hard to see that there's trucks on the bridge so that's why she says if we if we open two lanes then you'll be just sitting on the bridge so so once again this is not the issue with with the toll it's always the issue with the US customs something happened there's a glitch in the software they cannot they cannot something is not working with the with the entry numbers like last time it was like a two hour delay in Buffalo because something was happening with their entry system well, the good side, the good, the good part of this is that there's a big ship coming. I think by the time I reached the top of the bridge, the U.S. where there's a sign that says "Welcome to Michigan," that massive, I'm guessing, container ship will be passing right here. So we'll keep filming because I think once I was going over and there was a ship. You know because it's it's interesting huge ship and I love this area so that this is Sarnia Ontario or Point Edward Point Edward Ontario and that's Port Huron Michigan and the water is always very interesting over here almost like that Lake Louise in Alberta you know it's so blue and you 
can see it, it's blue near near the shore on this side and it's blue on the other side but in the middle where it's deep it's black you see that side is uh, is backed up as well oh look at that that ship is too slow but I see in the front it pushes a lot of water like white you know white um, wave so that means it's going fast but of course you know what's fast for a ship I like this crossing I hate I you know I hate Detroit, that broken down bridge where they charge you for everything. Like on the way back, if you have oversized load, they charge you for escort. Like here, there's no escort. You know, you just show up. And you can pay in Canadian. The only thing is, you see they have these signs over here. Do not throw objects from bridge. So that's not, you know, nice. Why I cannot throw an object from a bridge? But, see the sign is here, so... Otherwise it would be nice to see, you know, take my kettlebell. Uh, 60 pounds. And just go to the middle and see how big the splash would be. But you see, I cannot do it because there's a sign. Do not throw objects from the bridge. So I'm guessing my kettlebell would qualify as an object. So. All right. The, the ship is still <laughs> half a kilometer away. Probably almost half a mile. And once I stayed, uh, there's a Holiday Inn. There's a Holiday Inn right here. Like, and they have the, the US side, have very nice uh, area next to the water. The sidewalks, you know, you can, you can drive in a car. I think it's better. Well, actually they have the same on the Canadian side, except I never been here. But I like the US side better. And I stayed at that hotel uh, before the pandemic and prices were quite reasonable. I don't remember exactly how much, but it was not, it was not too expensive. Definitely cheaper than what I paid at this uh, Walper, Walper Hyatt in uh, Kitchener. But that was a nice hotel. All right, now official, this is my... Shut up. Now official, this is my second or third trip where I no longer track my mileage when entering uh, and leaving jurisdictions, where I used to do before for um, IFTA. And then I signed up for the premium package with uh, keep tracking so it, it tracks my my kilometers and miles well I made it to Marysville just as I thought they didn't lie on online so price is uh, 495 a gallon which is excellent But I'm just gonna fill up one one side. So somebody bought 104 gallons, it cost them 518 bucks. And I'm using, uh, I have a rewards, rewards uh, visa. So it gives me points. 
when I when I use it for anything. And just as I th thought, the tank, the left side tank, only took. 103.159 gallons Basically, I'm getting back to I-69 because this is 94. I can go this way, but then I'll have to cross Detroit. Google Maps says if I go this way, it's 26 minutes slower than this way. So we, this way, we just drive or check this out. Nice charger. Uh, scat pack 6.4 I see the uh, B emblem on the back 